are St George's School and we are working with Head Start. Over the next six to seven weeks we'll be learning how to cook and eat healthier. We will also be learning about resilience. Woo! So what we are doing guys is we are working together to establish what kind of meals we would like to cook over the coming weeks and they've got to be a little bit healthy and then we've got to discuss over the next six to seven weeks which resilient moves we're going to make on our journey to making some nice healthy meals. So we're going to think of four aren't we guys and that team over there, the rivals, boo, are also going to think of four and then we're going to merge them together and make five meals over the coming weeks. I'm Emma, I'm 13 years old and I go to St George's Blackpool. Hi, I'm Neve. I'm 13 and I also go to St George's Blackpool. We are working with Head Start to learn how to make, to cook, resilience and um, to build team. Yeah, to build teamwork. <laughs> What kind of pasta? We're just currently deciding what meals we're going to possibly make over our little programme and consider the ingredients that we might need. Um, we're also tying in the resilience framework and what resilient moves we're going to make as well. Okay, so what have you come up with so far? Uh, it looks like we're going for a lasagna, currently deciding whether to go vegetarian or go for a lean mince to keep it healthy um, using whole wheat pasta. Um, and then how we're we going to make our sauce, so chopped tomatoes, onions, car carrots, mushrooms, garlic, all that kind of stuff. Healthy pasta. You want spaghetti bolognese? Okay. Do you think we can make a healthy spaghetti bolognese? We could add veg, maybe carrots to it. Oh, only if it was rice, you can make cauliflower rice. Oh my god, walk through my I've had spaghetti, I've got, I can't my hair. Right, right, stir fry, what do you want in your stir fry? Uh, chicken, veggies. You have chicken? I thought stir fry was right. And now I'm not going to eat those noodles. Midget. Why don't you put them baby noodles. corn noodles? Baby corn. Super noodles. Super noodles. <laughs> Super noodles. <laughs> what are those really healthy? Yeah. Is it like not giving up and keep trying? That, that's certainly one aspect of it, absolutely. The power to keep going. The power to keep going? Perfect, yeah. And what gives us that power to keep going? Mm -hmm. Oh, food. Food, that's a good, good one. Beef, yeah. <laughs> in fact, about resilience for us, it's not just about what's going on in here and in here, it's about what's going on around us as well, environmentally. So our friends, our family, our school, our community, it's things in those places that can help us have the power to keep going and tackle tough times. Because, let, you know, let's be honest, we all have ups and downs, don't we? We can't pretend that life's always going to be perfect because it isn't. But if we have got these things going on in our lives, we can build the resilience to be able to keep going when they do get things going to do get a little bit tricky. It's really important for us because we're trying to promote resilience across Blackpool. Why do you think that might be a good thing for Blackpool as a town? Because the rest of England looks down on us. Do you know what? That's a really, really good point. And, and that's how a lot of people in Blackpool feel. Why do you think the rest of England might, why do you think we might feel that the rest of England look down on us, why, why is that? You're absolutely right. Because of what people are doing in Blackpool. Which is? Like people get drunk and fight. Yeah, absolutely, you're on the right line straight away. So we have certain issues going on in Blackpool that might be a little bit more serious than other places in the country. It's still going on in other places in the country. But Blackpool sometimes struggles a little bit more with certain ones, things like drinking, drugs, unemployment, uh, mental health, um, domestic violence, things like those issues are really tricky in Blackpool. So if those things are quite common, we try to promote this message in everything we do, whether that's in schools, in the community, digitally, online, whatever. So this cooking project is no different. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is have a look at that framework in your teams and I'd like you all to pick out a resilient move that you've made this week. So each one of those 42... How are we doing? Have we all got a resilient move each? Don't probably not. This team have done. What about your family? Oh, yes. So you, yes, you keep relationships going. What have you got? Not you spend time with good people in good places. You've got, you've got yours, haven't you? Not focusing on like, the bad stuff that's coming up. 
folk trying to figure out the good stuff is. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And, and that, in times where things are tricky, that is one of the hardest things to do. I promise you, if you can do it, you will feel a hell of a lot better. Um, mine, mine probably covers lots of things. So I went to netball training last night, so I had my playing hobbies, but within that, um, spend time with good people and in good places. I think because my netball team are some of my best friends as well. Sounds great. If you're playing hobbies, what have you been doing? Play rugby three times a week. Rugby three times a week? Yeah. For Leighton? Yeah. A good team. And then develop life skills. And what's your life skills you've been developing? Cooking. Pardon? Cooking. Cooking, and you're going to develop them even more over the next few weeks. <laughs> I should see Tom's a frying pan, mate. He's absolutely <laughs> magic. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, what's your resume? Organise yourself. Yeah, doing homework that was due two weeks ago. <laughs> Very good. That'll <laughs> take the <laughs> nerve. <never. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel once you've got it in? Uh, relieved. Relieved, yeah. Imagine if you'd have got it in two weeks earlier, the relief you'd have yeah. felt, it'd have been amazing. Oh, well done, mate. <laughs> Better late than never, like Miss Sir. It's spent time with good people and in good places. Fantastic wear. Um, at the Lake District. Tom, what's your resilient move? I had a friend that was very sad last night, so we went out for some food. Um, so I understood other people's feelings and instilled a sense of hope with some wisdom. Great. And how did you feel being that person? Really good, to be fair. And it also helped me understand myself a little bit more. Great. And it just made me feel good because I was offering that, that shoulder to cry on and really advice. So it makes you feel happy, doesn't it? So it's not always us that's the person who's technically benefiting from some of these actions. Other people, we might be helping other people. In turn, that's going to help ourselves. Everyone, so day one of Healthy School Scrans. I'm Sam. And I'm Lucas. And we've just done the first week of School Scran and we've planned a bunch of meals, including healthy lasagna and banana split with natural yoghurt. Learning how to cook. Um, healthier foods or easy meals that we can go home, we can eat together as a group or we can share with our families. We're going to include all sorts of fruit and vegetables, we're going to be eating the colours of the rainbow and we're going to be um, having some fun at the same time. Looking forward to working as a team when we make all the meals. It'll be a very good experience helping each other, working together and hopefully communicating with people that we can get along with and the cooking will grow our life skills to develop better so we don't just eat junk. Making healthy food that people can actually eat, not just meat, like people for vegetarians and all sorts. <laughs> Next time on School Scram. So we are making curry. So we have found brown rice, so, because we needed the, the, the mixed spice for the curry, so we got a blend. Do you think that's correct? Yeah, I think that's brilliant.